What is up everybody, it's 414 Anime here for Anime Uproar, and today I will be breaking down and explaining every captain's power from Bleach. We have a lot of captains to break down today, as we will not only be looking at the current captains, but the former ones too. Now, if you do enjoy these Bleach videos on the channel and you'd like to see more, you know what to do, smash that like button, get Suga Tensho style. If you haven't already, make this the video that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Anime Uproar. And now, without further ado, let's jump into it. Spoilers and all. The 13 Court Guard squads, or the Gotai 13, are the military and protectors of the Soul Society. They are responsible for the defense of the Serite, the deployment of division members and task forces, as well as guiding souls to the Soul Society. Genryusai Yamamoto was the founder of the Gotai 13 and was the head of the organization. Now, a lot of the early history is unknown, but we do know that the first generation of captains included, of course, Yamamoto himself, Unahana, and 11 others. Shunsui, the current captain of Squad 1, considered that first generation of captains as the strongest the Gotai 13 ever was. Now, each of the 13 squads are led by a captain. Captains are usually the most respected Soul Reapers in the Soul Society, as the true power of the Soul Society lies with them. Each of the captains are master swordsmen and experts in Kido and Shunpo. They possess immense strength, durability and endurance as well as having very high tactical and strategic intellect. A captain has mastered the release states of their Zanpak Toe. All of this combined has earned them the authority and respect of the Soul Society. And there are three different ways that a Soul Reaper can become a captain of a division. One way is the Captain Proficiency Test, which requires the candidate to be able to perform Bankai. This test is extreme and is witnessed by the Head Captain as well as three other Captains. Another way would be through the personal recommendation of at least six of the Captains as well as the approval from at least three of the remaining seven. The final way a Soul Reaper can become a Captain is in Trial by Combat. To do this, they would need to defeat a captain in combat with at least 200 witnesses from that captain's division present. This method is looked down upon due to its barbaric nature, but it is the only way to become a captain without possessing Bunkai. Now, the 11th division actually has this as the only method in which a Soul Reaper can become a captain of their division. So with that breakdown on the captains there, let's look into every captain's Zanpakuto powers past and present, starting of course with Division 1. Shunsui Kyoriko is the captain of the 1st Division and the head captain, and was the former captain of the 8th Division. His Zanpakuto is called Katen Kyokatsu, which is translated to mean Flower Heaven Bone of Madness. In its sealed form, his Sanbakuto is unique in the fact that it is a Daisho, which is a Japanese term for a matched pair of swords. Shunsui's consist of a Tachi and a Wakizashi. Katsun Kyokatsu's personality is unlike other Zanpakuto, as its personality comes to light in battle and will only let Shunsui fight at his full power when it is in the mood for it. Its Shikai command is, when the flower wind rages, the flower god roars. When the wind of heaven rages, the god of the underworld sneers. In its Shikai form, Katen Kyokatsu becomes a pair of giant black curved swords. The Wakizashi sword is used for speed, while the Tachi is used for power strikes. The power of Katen Kyokatsu's Shikai form is to make children's games real. The Zanpakuto itself makes and sets the rules of these games and those who step within its spiritual pressure are forced to play and obey by these rules, which also include Shunsui himself. Now, these games are essentially you win, you live, and if you lose, yeah, you possibly die. Pretty brutal stuff. So let's look at the games that we have seen so far. Lazy Spinning Top is a technique that represents the spinning top game where large wind blades are fired towards his opponent coming together to form a tornado. Mountain Demon was seen in Shunsui's battle against Stark. Shunsui explained that the winner of this game was whoever was higher than the other. Shadow Demon was a game where whoever gets their shadow stepped on loses. However, this game allowed its players to manipulate their own shadows, making it harder for their opponent to step on it. 
Lustrous Demon was a color-based game in which you say what color you want to cut with your sword, and it won't be able to cut anything else that isn't that said color. Now, if the color that you call out is a color that doesn't appear on your own body, the damage will be minimal, even if the attack would have been a fatal one prior to this game. But it works in both ways, that if the colour does exist on your own body then the damage dealt is equivalent to how much of that colour you have on your own body, so to deal out maximum strength it would be advantageous to call out your skin colour or the colour of your clothing, if you were wearing black robes as an example. Basically the gist of the game is risk, in order to deal greater damage to your enemy you must also increase the risk to yourself as well. The next game we saw was the Dharma Doll Fell Down. This is based on the children's game Red Light Green Light, where either Shunsui or his opponent are marked as being it. The other can travel towards the one who is it on a trail of their spiritual energy, however they have to catch them by surprise. Because if the one who is it sees their opponent while they are moving, the opponent loses the game. The final game is Shadow Sending, which is based on the children's game Chichan no Kage Okuri where children would stare at their shadow on the ground for a few seconds before looking at another surface, which will produce an after image of their shadow. How the game plays out is that Shunsui or his opponent can project an after image after staring hard at their shadow and then project the after image in a different location. Now, the higher the opponent's spiritual energy, the more realistic the after image will appear to be. Shunsui's Bonkai is Katsun Kyokatsu Karamatsu Shinju. When he releases his Bonkai, an aura covers the area around Shunsui, and this aura changes the perception of a person's surrounding environment who is caught within its range. Everything becomes dark and gloomy, causing them to feel despair and sadness. Now, Shunsui's Bonkai and its aura change, playing out the acts or dons of a play. Shunsui's Bonkai actually changes the battlefield itself to suit his needs. The first act is Hesitance and Apportionment of Wounds, where any wounds that either Shunsui or his opponent inflict on the other's body will also occur on their own as well. Shunsui says this is the story of a man who suffers from the same wounds as his partner, however he cannot die from them. The second act is called The Pillow of Shame, which makes black spots appear all over his opponent's body, causing them to bleed heavily. The story continues here where Shunsui says that this is the man of the story feeling shame after wounding his partner which caused him to collapse and become very ill. The third act is the Severing Abyss, where a huge amount of water engulfs both Shunsui and his opponent. This water remains on the battlefield until either he or his opponent run out of spiritual energy and drowns. Of course, continuing Shunsui's story, he says this is the part where the two characters both hurl themselves into the rushing waters. The final act, Thread Cutting Scissors Upon a Blood Streaked Throat, is where Shunsui sheathes both of his swords and wraps a white thread around his opponent's throat before pulling it tight enough to leave a deep cut, blowing up their head. Yeah. This act completes his story where he says that the regretful man's partner ignores his pleas and without mercy cuts their throat. Genryu Sai Yamamoto was the former captain of the 1st Division and the head captain of the 13 Court Guard squads. His Zanbokuto is Ryojin Jaka which is translated to mean Flowing Blade Young Flame. Ryojin Jaka is the oldest and most powerful fire type Zanbokuto. Its strength is so overwhelming that it has greater attacking power than all of the other Zanpakuto in the Soul Society. In its sealed form, it is usually concealed within a wooden staff that Yamamoto has used as a spear. Now, if he were to peel back the wood, it reveals the true form of his Zanpakuto, which is that of a standard katana. Its Shikai command is all things in the universe turn to ashes. And in its Shikai form, the blade is completely engulfed in fire. The weapon's aura simply incinerates everything that it is swung at, leaving nothing behind but ash. The heat that comes from the flames of Ryojin Jaka in its Shikai form are hot enough to scorch the sky itself. Now, Ryojin Jaka has some pretty amazing abilities when it's in its Shikai form, which include Fortress Blaze, where a huge wall of flame is erected surrounding its target before becoming a sphere which traps the enemy within. Torch is a technique where Yamamoto can create a giant inferno with a simple wave of his Zanpak toe. The flames from this inferno engulf and consume its target until only ash remains. 
These flames can also be controlled by Yamamoto himself to only attack the target that he so chooses. Not only that, but he can also control how intense these flames are too. Flames of Hell is the last technique but equally as insane as the others, where seven or more pillars of flame are created. These pillars are to trap his opponent within their inferno and destroy them completely. The power of this ability is so intense that anyone trapped within its boundary, including Yamamoto himself, will be incinerated. Yamamoto's Bankai is called Zunka no Tachi. When Yamamoto activates his Bankai, the blade takes the form of an old, worn-out katana that looks to have been scorched by fire. Any flames that had previously been produced by Ryojin Jaka are instantly absorbed into the blade and will burn anything it cuts out of existence completely. Yamamoto's Bankai is split into four abilities, being Zanka no Tachi East, West, South, and North. Zanka no Tachi East Rising Sun Edge is automatically activated upon the Bankai's release, and its ability focuses all of the intense flames to the very tip of the sword. These flames do not burn the enemy, but instead incinerate them into complete nothingness. Zanka no Tachi West Remnant Sun Prison Garb again is activated automatically upon the release of his Bankai. Yamamoto's body is completely engulfed in heat, which reaches temperatures of 15 million degrees. As you would expect, it is impossible to touch him or even get close to him while his Bankai is activated. This ability is insane as the heat from this is that high that it doesn't take on the appearance of flames. In fact, they are completely invisible to the eyes of his opponent unless Yamamoto himself wishes for them to see it. Zanka no Tachi South Great Burial Ranks of the 10 Trillion Fire Dead calls upon and summons the corpses of the ones who were killed by his flames to fight for him now. Yamamoto impales the ground with his sword and using the heat from it on their ashes, the dead appear like burning skeletons from the very cracks in the ground that he had just made who will attack his enemies till they return to dust. Yamamoto can also call forth specific corpses if he so wishes. Finally, there is Zanka no Tachi North, Heaven and Earth End in Ashes, which is a very powerful slash of heat and flames that just incinerates everything that it touches completely out of existence. Now, due to the extreme heat that radiates from both the blade and Yamamoto himself, there is a time limit on which he can use his Bankai. He can only wield Zanka no Tachi for a short amount of time, otherwise prolonged use of his Bankai will destroy his opponent, the area around him, or even Yamamoto himself. Soifone is the captain of the second division, as well as the commander-in-chief of the Stealth Force. As the commander of the Stealth Force, Soifone is a master in the art of assassination. She is skilled at remaining hidden and striking down a target completely undetected in an instant. She has a very advanced technique at her disposal called Shunko or Instant War Cry, where she combines her expert hand-to-hand -hand combat and Kido. Soifone will completely surround both her arms and her back with pressurized Kido. Soifone wears a uniform that has no sleeves and no back because the pressure from this technique would rip those sleeves and the back part of her uniform straight off when activated. Now, the technique itself takes on the form of wind that she can direct towards her target in a blast. Not only that, but she can use this wind to bolster up her defenses on specific parts of her body. When she used this in her fight against Yorichi, it was incomplete but mastered the technique fully shortly after, which is called Infinite Shunko. Previously, the wind would only form and concentrate around her right arm, but once mastered would revolve in a vortex around her entire body, being able to maintain the technique for as long as she wanted. Moving on to her Zanpak toe, Zoifones is Suzumabachi, translated as meaning hornet. In its sealed form, it is like that of a wakazashi. She enters Suzumabachi's Shikai release by using the command sting all enemies to death. Now, the sword shrinks in size and takes on the form of a black and gold gauntlet on her right hand. It has a small chain and a blade that looks like a hornet stinger needle on the, her middle finger. The needle is around two of Soifone's fingers in length. And though the blade has become a smaller needle, it still has enough behind it to block the incoming attacks from her opponents. So, her Shikai special ability is called Double Strike Finisher and it has two steps to it. The first is to stab her enemy with the needle, which will leave a butterfly-shaped mark where she struck her opponent. This mark is called the Bee Crest Flower and is now the target area for the second step or attack of this ability. 
So if Soyphone can strike her opponent a second time in that exact same spot, it will ultimately result in their death and is known as the death in two steps. So a much larger bee crest flower appears in its place, which will destroy her target's body. This ability is actually that of a venom that spreads throughout the target's body in mere minutes. However, the more spiritual pressure the target has, the longer the venom will take to spread. So these crests are maintained by Soyphone's will and are impossible to remove unless Soyphone so wills it. Soyphone has said that she can only maintain these crests for half an hour, which was always more than enough time for her to land that second strike. Soyphone's Bankai is called Jakaho Raikoban, translated as Hornet Thunder Duke Whip. Her Bankai takes the form of a giant golden missile. Its base completely engulfs her right arm all the way above her shoulder that forms a face shield covering that right side of her face. The missile itself is absolutely huge. In fact, it's twice the size of Soyphone herself, who stands at 4 foot 11, meaning that this golden missile is approximately 9 foot 10 inches. So Soyphone's Bonkai is a ranged type and she has the ability to launch the missile at her target. She raises her right arm and uses the slit in the face guard to line up her shot. Once the target is locked on, the missile tracks said target with precision and on contact, the missile creates an incredible explosion. Of course, there are downsides to her Bonkai and the fact that she has stated that she can only fire one missile every three days. Anything more than that is extremely taxing on her body. Soyphone actually uses her Bankai so rarely. The reason being is, you know, of course, how taxing it is to use and the fact that Soyphone prefers not to use it as it damages her pride as the commander of the stealth force. Yorichi is the former captain of the second division and the former commander in chief of the stealth force. As the former commander of the stealth force, Yorichi is a master of assassination and is a very exceptional fighter. She is of course most famous for her flash step and holds the title of Flash Goddess or Flash Master. She can move great distances in the blink of an eye, making it impossible for her opponent to keep up. She has mastered the flash step to the point where it appears as if she is in multiple places at once, wiping out entire squads in the matter of seconds. Now, the insane thing about Yurichi's flash step is that to this day, the full extent of her ability is still unknown. Just as Soyphone, Yurichi also has the advanced Shunko technique, or in her case, it's called Flash War Cry. But instead of the element of wind, Yurichi's is lightning. Now, it works pretty much the same as Soyphone's, where she has to wear a uniform that has no sleeves and reveals her back. And when activated, a white lightning surrounds Yurichi. Her arms and legs are enhanced, and she can shut down her opponent's movements. She can also fire the pressurized Kido as blasts at her target, creating large explosions. Yorichi's version of the technique was mastered over a century ago, and because of that, she has mastered a couple of its forms. The first is Flash Warcry Thunder God Battle Form, where the lightning from her back takes on the form of Raijin's drums behind her that Yorichi will unleash a huge column of electrical energy at her target, engulfing them completely. The second is Flash Warcry, Thunder Beast Battle Form, Flash God, Black Cat, Warrior Princess. With the previous form already activated, Yorichi transforms further. A huge electrical column is released, and when the electric is dispersed, Yorichi has an electric cat form where her feet become clawed feline paws with electric covering her forearm and legs. Electric also flows through her hair to form electric cat ears, as well as gaining an electric cat tail. In a nutshell, she turns into an electric cat in both mind and body. Her mood drops more than usual and she becomes pretty unstable, which is very, very bad news for her opponent. And of course, sticking with the feline theme, an ability that is unique to Yorichi is her feline transformation. She can shapeshift into a small black cat that has the ability to talk. Now, there doesn't seem to be a time limit to this transformation as she had been in her cat form for over 100 years. And of course, though she is a small black cat, she can still move at incredible speeds. And this form is a complete disguise. Even her voice is completely different as it sounds like that of a deep male. Now, she was a former captain and as such has a Zompok toe. Her style of combat was exclusively a combination of hand-to-hand -hand combat and her flash step, so she rarely ever used her Zompok toe. We do know that she achieved Bankai and Shikai, but they have never been revealed to us. Rojiro Otorobashi, more commonly referred to as simply Rose, is the captain of the 3rd Division and was previously a captain 100 years prior to his exile. 
His Zanpak toe is called Kinshara, which is translated to mean Golden Shala. In its sealed form, it takes on the appearance of a katana. He has an ability called Arpeggio, where he levitates his Zanpak toe sheathed within its scabbard in front of him horizontally. He then begins to move his fingers over the Zanpak toe as if he were playing the piano, which is also accompanied by the sound of said notes being played. When Rose does this, his hand glows a golden colour as a wire appears that wraps around his target. The notes that he plays will then constrict the wire, crushing the target trapped within. Now, to release his Zanpakuto into its Shikai form, his command is simply play. His Zanpakuto then takes on the form of a long golden whip, with a flower at its tip that will impale his target. The whip is similar to that of Renji's Shikai, where it can extend and retract, making it an obvious ranged weapon. While in use, the whip makes the light sound of a piano playing. It has an ability called Golden Sal Tree, Sonata number 11, 16 day old Moon Rose, where the flower at the tip of the whip will attach itself to his opponent. Rose taps the whip and instead of a piano playing, it is now the sound of guitar strings. The sound vibrations travel through the whip and creates a vortex of sound that will create a blast when it reaches the flower that is attached to his target at the end. His Bankai is Kinshara Butadan, which is translated to mean Golden Shala Dance Trope. When his Bankai is activated, a giant pair of golden floating hands appear. One is holding a conducting baton, and several large golden looking beings appear that are known as the Dancers of Death. Rose's Bankai is like that of a play. Using music, he can create physical illusions, with Rose himself stating that the music gives him power over his target's heart, as long as their heart is deceived. And the way that his Bankai works is by manipulating his opponent's sense of sound, tricking them into believing that physical pain is being endured. The attacks that Rose can perform are like that of a play, where the dancers of death follow acts. Act 1 is Sea Drift, where the dancers of death surround his opponent and spin around, creating a whirlpool of water. This makes the target feel as if they are drowning. The second act is Prometheus. Rose conducts the dancers to generate fire with their hands, and the effect of this illusion makes his target feel as if they were, of course, burning alive. The final act, which again I will probably pronounce wrong, is called Ein Heldenben. Yes, which is German for a hero's life. This unfortunately was never seen because he was taken out before he got a chance to use it. Now, of course, Rose is a visored and as such has the ability of holification, where when his mask is activated, it greatly increases his Shinigami powers. His mask resembles that of a medieval doctor's plague mask. Gin Ichimaru was the former captain of the third division until he betrayed the Soul Society along with both Aizen and Tozen. Gein has a genius level intellect and was hailed as a child genius in his youth, destined for very great things. He even got a seated position pretty much straight after graduation from the Shinigami Academy. Now, Gein uses his intellect to deceive and manipulate his opponent. He remains extremely calm whilst he toys with his confused enemy. He plays with them to the point where their mind is completely weakened and their resolve diminished. It is then that he will deliver a fatal strike. Now, his Sanpakuto is called Shinso, which means sacred spear when translated. In its sealed form, it looks like that of an ordinary Wakazashi. His Shikai is activated using the command Shoot to Kill, and its special ability is that it extends at a very high speed, impaling his enemy with ferocious force. As well as that, he will swing his Zanpakuto around while it is extended to destroy wide areas or take out multiple targets all at once. His Shikai can extend up to 100 times its original length, which earned it the title of 100 Swords. Now, Gin's Bankai is called Kamishi no Yari, translated to mean God Killing Spear. In its Bankai form, his Zanpakuto doesn't really change in appearance. The ability of his Bankai is also the same as his Shikai, in which the blade glows a bright white colour and extends at very high speeds and force. Of course, when his Bankai is activated, the force, speed, and length of his blade are all vastly improved. Okay, in terms of numbers, Gin claimed that his sword could extend up to 8.1 miles at 500 times the speed of sound, meaning his sword would be able to extend 171,500 meters in under 0.8 seconds. However, this was later revealed to be a lie, just to gain the advantage in battle using his manipulative style of combat. The deadliest ability of his Bankai is that while it is expanding, for a split second the blade itself turns to dust. There is a deadly poison within the blade that can dissolve and break down cells. 
Gein will leave a tiny part of his Zanpakuto inside the body of his opponent when he retracts his blade, which allows him to kill his target at any time that he wishes. To do this, Gein will place his hand on the target and utter the technique's name of Karasei Kameshini no Yari, causing the person to break down from the inside out. Next up is Shusuke Amagai, who was from an anime-only arc. Amagai was another former captain of the 3rd Division, succeeding that of Gin Ichimaru. His Zanpakuto is called Raika, which means lightning flash, which in its sealed form resembles that of a Kadachi. His Shikai's release command was Sever, and the appearance of his Zanpakuto changes to a long white blade with a hook at the end and shell-like pipes at its hilt. The pipes emit powerful flames that produce the sound of a trumpet. Now, the special ability all revolve around those pipes that emit the fire. Amagai can heat up the blade, which causes it to become much more intense. In doing so, Amagai can shoot fireballs from the hook of his Zanpakuto, launching them forward with the swing of his sword. He can also slam his Zanpakuto into the ground with a fireball concentrated at the tip to send flames straight towards his target. His Bankai was called Raika Goenkaku, which when translated means Lightning Flash Karmic Flame Shell. When activated, his Zanpakuto took the appearance of a large and more detailed version of its Shikai. It becomes a large crimson red sword with jagged edges and a hook at the end. It also had a large white shell covering the hill and the sword became as tall as Amagai himself. So, when his Bankai is activated, fire surrounds the sword and he can use a host of abilities that involve said element, including using it as a flamethrower, he can shoot enhanced fireballs, Amagai can generate fire from the ground when he pierces it with his Zanpakuto, create waves of fire, and so on. Now, he also has the ability Goen Ryuga, where Amagai will twist and spin the sword above his head. The blade is completely engulfed in fire and flames will shoot out of it. He will then slam the Zanpakuto into the ground along with a lightning strike as the ground itself begins to shake. Fire spears will also shoot from the ground at various angles trapping his enemy within. Now Omegai also had his Bakoto which was shaped like a tuning fork and had its own unique abilities. He could fire green energy blasts from it. He could also tap his Bakoto against the hilt of his Zanpakuto, which will create a large green blade of energy. And by stabbing this green blade into the ground, further energy will engulf Amagai, which allowed him to communicate with others within a certain area. Now, his Bakoto has a true form. The Bakoto will feed on the nuclei of other Bakoto, and Amagai's nucleus was an eye hidden beneath its hilt. When released, the nuclei extends and extends upon Amagai's right arm, turning into the black gauntlet that was like a claw on his hand. A sash appears on his left shoulder that contains five Bakoto nuclei within it, and attached to both the sash and armoured right arm is a dragon-like tail from his back. Its special ability is that the energy blade is like a dragon's mouth that will sound out a pulse that will completely negate a soul reaper's power. The way that it works is that the resonating sound will cut the connection between the Soul Reaper and their spiritual energy, rendering their Zanpakuto completely useless. However, Amagai's connection to his Zanpakuto is left completely unaffected. Retsu Unahana was the former captain of the 4th Division. She was one of the oldest captains amongst the Soul Society and was their best healer. She was also the first person to hold the name Kenpachi. So, Unahana began practicing healing techniques as a way of being able to prolong her battles, but through her constant research and her medical and healing knowledge, she became the greatest in the Soul Society. She is a master of medical intellect when it comes to healing and herbal healing techniques, and has a very vast knowledge of autonomy, meaning that she can heal more than Shinigami as she has treated both humans and Arunka. So her Zanpakuto was called Minazuki and her Bankai was of the same name, though their translations were different. So her Zanpakuto when translated means Flesh Drops Gorge. In its sealed form, it resembles an Adachi and is slightly longer than an ordinary Katana. The release command for her Shikai is unknown, but in its released form, Minazuki takes on the form of a green giant one-eyed creature that looks like a manta ray. This creature is used for transportation where it can either fly or grow legs for transportation on land. Her Shikai's special ability is healing those that are placed within the creature's mouth. The person placed inside will then be swallowed and stored within the creature's stomach where the acids will cover the wounded individual. The creature's stomach acids are like that of a strong medicine or ointment. 
Now, the creature itself can carry up to six people in its stomach at one time, and once the healing process is completed, or I guess at Unahana's command, the creature will regurgitate the people out of its mouth. Now, like I mentioned earlier, her bunkai was of the same name as her Zanpak toe, Minazuki, though, of course, I said the translations were different. Her bunkai, when translated, means all things end. When her bonkai is released, the blade of her zanpak toe turns into a thick, dark red liquid that flows all around her, which many have theorized is blood, but there is no confirmation of that. The liquid of her bonkai is that of a very strong acid, strong enough to melt an opponent to the very bone. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot known about her bonkai as she was killed before we could really see what it was capable of, but we do know that it was a very, very nasty one. Shinji Hiroko is the captain of the 5th Division. He was also a captain 100 years ago prior to his exile. Shinji was also the leader and recruiter of the Visits. His Zanpakuto is called Sakanade, which means counterstroke when translated. In its sealed form, it looks like that of a normal katana. Now, his Shikai release command is Collapse. When in this form, his Zanpakuto becomes a very large ring that allows Shinji to rotate Sakanade around his hand without grabbing the Zanpakuto at all. The spinning is the Shikai's ability. The ability is called Upside Down World. As the Zanpakuto is spun, a pink mist is created. This mist has a very pleasant aroma to it, but if smelt, the target will fall into an optical illusion. This illusion affects his opponent's eyesight and sense of direction. Even the injuries they have sustained aren't in the location that they think they are. Everything is thrown off and will cause all sorts of effects, including you know, nausea, vertigo, and confusion. And no matter how strong the opponent, they all fall victim to Sakanade's illusions and are unable to adapt to them. Now, we do know that Shinji had achieved Bankai, however, it hadn't been revealed to us. What we do know is he, of course, has holification. The holification enhances his strength, speed, and endurance, as well as that he is also capable of using a Sero Blast. Shinji's mask resembles that of a pharaoh's. Sosuke Aizen is the former captain of the 5th Division before he betrayed the Soul Society along with his followers Gin and Tozen. Okay, so where to start with Aizen? This man truly has it all. He is a master of combat and keto use with a spiritual power that is completely unmeasurable. He is incredibly strong and has a masterful level of spiritual power control. And it's not just strength and battle prowess that he masters, but intellect too. Aizen is a genius, his intellect unmatched when it comes to strategy, technique, history, and more. He has conducted countless experiments for over 100 years that involve things such as holification. But of course, he also uses his genius for manipulation. Aizen is extremely cunning and has betrayed so many that have fallen into the trap of trusting him. Some have always kept an eye on him, but he has always eluded them. So in terms of his Zanpakuto and its abilities, his Zanpakuto is called Kyoka Soigetsu, which is translated to mean Mirror Flower, Water Moon. In its sealed state, it of course looks like that of a normal katana. His Shikai release command is Shatter, which will activate and deactivate it. The special ability of Kyoka Soigetsu is complete hypnosis. It will control all five senses of his target that they misconceive a person's form, feel, and smell to be that of their enemies. To fall under its hypnosis, the target must initially see Kyoka Soigetsu upon its release, and by seeing it just once, they will fall under its control every time that it is released, even if they haven't seen it in a very, very long time. The power of Kyoka Soigetsu's hypnosis is so strong that even if a person knows they are under its control, they will still fall victim to its effects. This ability is truly devastating and one that really matches Aizen so well. It's incredibly useful to him, both in and out of combat. Now, not only can he make his target think that other people are their enemies, but he can use it so it affects their view on himself to create decoys so he can hide his true movements and strike at the right opportunity. Now, when it comes to his Bankai, Aizen's obviously strong enough to have achieved it, but it has never been revealed. Now, the only thing to mention when it comes to Aizen's power is when he fused with the Hokioku. Aizen himself underwent a few different transformations that went far beyond that of a Soul Reaper and Hollows. His Zanpakuto was disintegrated when his body fused with the Hokioku, but Aizen was still able to use his illusionary powers. 
Aizen also gained a somewhat immortality when his body fused with the Hokioku. All his wounds were instantly regenerated. Now, of course, he eventually reverted back to his normal state after Ichigo Kurosaki's Mugetsu in their battle. The Hokioku rejected Aizen, but he retained both his immortality and his amazing spiritual power. By the time of the Quincy Blood War, Aizen eventually surpassed the power of the forms he had when fused with the Hogyoku. Byakuya Kuchiki is the captain of the 6th division and the 28th head of the Kuchiki clan, who are one of the four great noble clans within the Soul Society. Byakuya was taught flash step by Yorichi, but has never beat her. Byakuya is most well known for this technique and is one of the best users of this within all of the Soul Society. He has a very devastating ability and also his favorite to use, which is called Senka or Flash Blossom when translated. He moves at his opponent's back, directly attacking and sealing their Saketsu and Hakusui in two very rapid and devastating strikes, which cuts off their spiritual energy flow. Now, his Zonpokuto is called Zenbon Zakura, which means Thousand Cherry Blossoms when translated, that looks like a simple katana in its sealed form. His Shikai's release command is Scatter. The special ability of his Shikai is that Zenbon Zakura separates into a thousand tiny fragments that are incredibly sharp and look like cherry blossom petals. The tiny blades disperse from the hilt of his Zanpak toe, and when Byakuya swings his hilt, the tiny blades shred his opponents at his control. Byakuya can also use them as a form of defense, as they are strong enough to block incoming attacks from his enemies. Now, Zenbon Zakura also has a safe zone that protects Byakuya from his own attacks, where they will not cut anything with 85 centimeters of him himself. However, if he so wishes, the blades can enter that safe zone. Byakuya's Bankai is called Zenbon Zakura Kageyoshi, which when translated means vibrant display of a thousand cherry blossoms. His Bankai is a larger version of his Shikai, where instead of being able to create 1,000 flower petals in its Shikai form, Zenbon Zakura Kageyoshi can create millions. Byakuya drops his Zanpak Toe, which then goes into the ground through a puddle of water, and energy ripples throughout, turning the surrounding area dark. Now, two rows of giant swords rise from the ground, and no one knows just how many swords have risen. These blades, unlike his Shikai, can be controlled using his mind, and further enhanced if he uses his hands to direct their motion. Now, he has the ability Senki, or Slaughter Scope, which is the true form of Zenbon Zakura. The scattered petals form into thousands of glowing swords that circle around Byakuya and his opponent in rows, moving in a circular motion. This actually turns his thousands of blades into fewer, but they are more powerful swords that each have stronger attack power. Byakuya can control these swords mentally, but often prefers to wield them physically. Though this is the true form of Zenbon Zakura, this ability is one that is extremely rare for even him to use. Byakuya will only ever use this ability if he has personally swore to take down his opponent with his own two hands. Now, this ability also requires Byakuya's own blood to activate, which could be another reason as to why he doesn't use it that much. Now, sticking with this ability, it has a sub-ability within it called Ika Senjinka, where he will attack a single target with every one of his Senki swords at once. This is Senbon Zakura Kageyoshi's ultimate attack. Another of his abilities is called Goke, which is a sphere of tiny petal blades which will swirl around his opponent and then trap them in this cloud. Not one angle is left uncovered by these petals, meaning that there is not only no blind spots, but there is also no escape. The sphere then collapses within itself, destroying the target trapped within. The last ability is called Shuke Hakutaiken. This ability takes all of the thousand petal blades and compresses them into one giant sword, which boosts its power. The blade takes on the appearance of a bright white bird and a halo circle appears at Byakuya's back made of spiritual energy, and then the strike is a final finishing blow. Ginrei Kuchiki was the former captain of the 6th division and the 27th head of the Kuchiki clan over 100 years ago until he was eventually succeeded by his grandson Byakuya. Interestingly, his lieutenant when he was the 6th division captain was his son Sojin Kuchiki. Now, we know that Ginrei was incredibly strong due to the fact that he was a captain, but not a lot is known about him. His Zanpakuto, Shikai, and Bankai have not been revealed to us, but we do know that he had achieved all of its releases. We were also told that his Zanpakuto's sealed state looked very much like Byakuya's Zenbon Zakura in appearance. 
Sajin Komamura was the former captain of the 7th Division. His son Bokto was called Tenken, which means heavenly retribution when translated and looked like a normal katana in its sealed state. His Shikai release command was raw, and his Zonpokto kept the same form as when it was in its sealed state. Now, his Shikai special ability was that Tenken would create various phantom body parts of the armored giant that would copy the exact movements of Komamura. These body parts would all have a much enhanced strength to them that would completely overwhelm his enemy. Not as strong as when the body was complete in Bonkai, of course, but they still packed a very impressive punch. Now, his Bonkai was called Kokujo Tengen Myo, which when translated means Divine Retribution, Black Ropes of Ruination. When his Bonkai is activated, the full giant samurai is summoned, which was referenced to as a Bonkai of Living Armor. The giant itself stands at around 100 meters tall, and it wields a blade similar to that of Komamura's. Just like his Shikai, his giant copies his exact movements with its strength far greater than that of his Shikai, allowing him to deal an insane amount of damage to his opponent. The giant can also take a hit itself, and despite its overwhelming size, it is still incredibly fast. As it copies exactly what Komamura is doing, if he was to heal himself, the giant would also heal as well, meaning that this is the only Bankai that can heal itself. Then there is Kokujo Tengen Myo Dangai Jo. In this form, the giant completely sheds its armor, exposing its body that is made entirely of spiritual power. This form can only come to be if Komamura uses the humanization technique, and when in this form, his Bankai is pretty much invincible to any physical damage. Speaking of the humanization technique, this is a very special technique unique to those from the werewolf clan. This allows them to completely shed their wolf form and return to their human form. This is achieved through ritual, a ritual that is only achieved by removing that person's heart. The body becomes a shell and by offering their heart, said body becomes immortal, meaning that while in this state, attacks will have no effect on both Komamura or his Bankai, as the wounds are regenerated instantly. Rabu Aikawa, simply referred to as Love, is a visored and the former captain of the 7th Division. His Zanpakuto is called Tengu Maru, which means long-nosed goblin when translated. It has the appearance of an average katana while in its sealed form. His Shikai release command is Crush Down, and the appearance of Tengu Maru goes from the katana to that of a very large black kanabo that looks like a cactus. Tengu Maru in its Shikai form is also more than twice the height of Love, who stands at 6 foot 2, meaning that his Sangpak toe is over 12 foot. Its special ability is that it can manipulate fire and has an ability called Fire Blowing Gavel, where Love will swing his Sangpak toe and it will ignite itself in flames. As he points his Sangpak toe down, a fireball is released from its tip that will explode as soon as it makes contact with its target. Now, as a visored, he of course has holification, which significantly boosts the strength, speed, and endurance of his Shinigami abilities. He also has an ability called Mirror Opening, which is a technique of brute raw strength. Love was able to rip a Menos Grande clean in half with his bare hands using this ability. In terms of his mask, his hollow mask takes the form of a traditional Japanese Oni mask. Lisa Yadomaru is the captain of the 8th division. One of the most unique things about Lisa is that she is ambidextrous, meaning that she can swap hands effortlessly during combat while wielding her Zanpak toe. She has a technique called Thousand Page Wholesale, where she will utilize her ability to use both hands, delivering multiple sword movements that happen so fast, resulting in her target being shred to pieces. Her Zanbokto is called Hagoro Tombo, which is translated to mean Iron Dragonfly. In its sealed state, it is a lot longer than most, resembling that of a Nodachi. Her Shikai's release command is Smash, which turns the appearance of her Zanbokto from a sword to a long pole with a blade fixed at its tip, similar to that of a monk's spade. On the other end of the pole is a large heavy ball. The heavy ball at the end allows her to use her Zanbokto like an axe. Her Shikai's special ability is unknown, but we have seen her use a move called 21st Article Dragonfly Landing, where Lisa dished out multiple piercing attacks all at once against her opponent. Lisa's Bankai is also currently unknown and has not been revealed to us just yet. 
She does have Holification being advised, giving her that boost in strength and endurance, but hasn't shown any ability that is specific to her Holification. In terms of her mask, it is a lozenge shape and has a cross opening instead of mouth and eye slits. Kensei Muguruma is the captain of the 9th division. He again was a captain over 100 years ago prior to his exile and again is also a visored. Muguruma is a guy that despite being a master swordsman with his Zanpak toe prefers fighting using hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's a beast with extreme strength. His Zanpak toe is called Tachikaze which is translated as meaning earth severing wind and in its sealed form looks like a wakazashi. Kensei's Shikai release command is Blast Away. Its Shikai form turns his Zanpakuto into a combat knife. Its special ability comes in the manipulation of both wind and energy where its slashes turn to explosions. We have seen him use two abilities using his Shikai which include Air Blades where Kensei will release multiple slashes from a distance that will cut the enemy down before exploding causing a huge amount of damage. The other ability is called Bomb Thrust, where Kensei charges up Tachikaze with spirit power till it takes the form of a glowing ball of light. This he will then fire at his enemy in a devastating and very powerful blast. Kensei's Bankai is called Tekken Tachikaze, which is translated to mean Iron Fist Earth Severing Wind. When his Bankai is activated, a large explosion of wind engulfs him. After it's dispersed, Tachikaze is transformed from a combat knife to a pair of large knuckle blades with purple bandages wrapping around both of his arms like a sort of armor. There is also a thicker purple band that wraps around over his head. Now, his Bankai's ability focuses all of his Shikai's power into the two knuckle blades, giving Kensei's punches insane destructive force that he will continuously pummel his opponent with. As long as that knuckle blade is in contact with his opponent, a barrage of explosions will continuously go off. As well as his destructive power, Kensei can also change the knuckle blades into brass knuckles as well as spiked gauntlets. And of course as a visor, he has holification powers too that greatly enhance his strength and speed. His mask resembles that of a hockey face guard. Kaname Tozen was the former captain of the 9th Division before he betrayed the Soul Society alongside Aizen and Ichimaru. His Zanpakuto is called Suzumushi, which means bell bug when translated. In its sealed form, it looks like a regular katana. Now, when it comes to his Shikai, Tozen's is not like a regular Zanpakuto in the fact that it has two Shikai commands, both with unique abilities. The first is when he uses the release command Howl. His Zanpakuto keeps the same katana form of its sealed state, but a high-pitched noise occurs over a large area. Those that hear this high-pitched noise will be knocked unconscious. The other Shikai ability is called Cricket Second Movement, Crimson Flying Lotus. This ability turns Suzumushi into its Benihiko form. Suzumushi begins to vibrate, and as Tozen begins to move his sword in a circular motion, a trail appears following the sword's movement. This trail then turns into hundreds of blades that are then fired straight at his opponent. Tozen's Bankai is called Suzumushi Suishiki Enma Kurogi, which is translated to mean Bell Bug Closing Ceremony Field Cricket. When Kaname activates his Bankai, the ring on his katana begins to spin. As it spins, it starts to release spiritual energy. The ring begins to spin faster as it grows in size and then splits into 10 separate glowing rings of equal size that will circle around Kaname himself. With the slash of his sword, the rings disperse and create a large circular perimeter and the 10 rings begin to form a black void that will continue to grow in size until it forms a large solid black dome. Within the dome, a vacuum is created that completely nullifies the senses of sight, sound, scent, and spiritual energy. The only sense that remains is that of touch, allowing Kaname to attack them with his sealed Zanpak toe. Now, the dome itself is an extension of Suzumushi, which allows Kaname to wield the sealed Zanpak toe itself within said dome. The weakness to his Bankai is that by touching Suzumushi's hilt, you become immune to the dome's effects, so if his opponent manages to touch the hilt, his Bankai becomes pretty useless. Now, the dome will continue to exist as long as Kaname wishes or if he becomes seriously injured. So, Tozen also has the power of holification that enhanced his powers, strength, speed, and endurance. As well as that, he also had high speed regeneration while wearing his mask. 
Talking of his mask, Koname's hollow mask covered the majority of his head and neck. There was a gap at the back for his hair, and he had a line that went through the middle of the mask horizontally, which split the mask into separate parts. Finally, Kaname had his resurrection, called Suzumushi Hyakushiki, Grilla Grillo, which is translated as Bell Bug Hundred Ceremony Crazed Cricket. In this form, Tozen's body took the form of a giant bug covered in black fur with four insect arms, two giant horns, and wings. This form enhanced his strength as well as all of his sound abilities. Not only that, but he also maintained his high speed regeneration. He had two abilities in this form, with the first being Lost Nuve Aspectos, aka the Nine Aspects. Using his claws, Tozen drew green circles in the air that would emit a huge burst of sound, a sound strong enough that would crush everything around it. The second ability is La Mirada, or the Graze, where Tozen charges up a huge green cero from both of his eyes. The two form together before he fires it at his target. Toshiro Hitsugaya is the captain of the 10th division. Hitsugaya was the most gifted prodigy in the Soul Society since that of Gin Ichimaru. Often referred to as a child genius, Gin had called him the embodiment of the heavenly white angel that blesses the Soul Society once a century. Not only is Hitsugaya extremely impressive physically, his intellect is equally as impressive. His Zanpakuto is called Hyorin Maru, which is translated as meaning Ice Ring. In its sealed state, it looks like a normal katana. However, his zombokto is around 1.4 meters in length, which is longer than your average zombokto. Because Hitsugaya is pretty small, standing at 4 foot 4, he has to wear it sheathed on his back because it is too long for him to wear around his waist. Now, Hitsugaya can use the abilities of his zombokto without water being present, and this is because Hyorin Moru is the strongest ice zombokto in all of the Soul Society. In fact, Hisugai's control over his Zanbokto is so great that he can actually use some of his Bankai abilities while Hyorin Moro is still only in its Shikai form. However, they can backfire and harm him too. His Shikai's release command is Rain Over the Frosted Heavens. In its released form, Hyorin Moro becomes slightly longer in length and also gains the addition of a crescent blade on its hilt attached by a metal chain, which can also extend and be used to attack his target. His Shikai special ability is that it allows Hitsugaya to control the elements of water and ice. The slashes he perform are not only enhanced in power, but also create a form of ice that takes the shape of a Chinese dragon that will freeze anything that it touches. The difference between its Shikai and Bankai abilities are pretty small, but the abilities of his Shikai are as follows. The first is Subjugation of the Heavens, which is both his most basic ability, but also his strongest, where he can control and manipulate the water and in the atmosphere around him. Then he has Multi-Layer Vacuum Ice Wall, which creates a wall made of multiple layers of ice. Because this is a multi-leveled ice wall, it can even withstand some fire attacks, which of course is the element that he is weakest against. He can also use this offensively in a technique called Vacuum Ice Blade, where he will manipulate all of the ice that he has gathered and focuses it at the tip of his Zompok toe before firing it straight at his opponent. There is also another ice wall technique called Woven Ice Wall, where he will erect a wall of ice by weaving fine threads of ice together. His final Shikai ability is called Six Clothed Ice Binding Array, where Hitsugaya will place five snowflake shaped pieces of ice on the ground, creating a trap for his opponent. Once they step on this trap, each of the snowflakes send a line of ice straight at them that will encase that target in a giant pillar of ice. Hitsugaya's Bankai is called Daiguren Hyorin Maru, which is translated to mean Grand Crimson Lotus Ice Ring. When Hitsugaya activates his Bankai, his form changes where ice from Hyorin Moru begins to flow into Hitsugaya. On his right hand, the ice forms into a dragon's head and his sword becomes encased in ice. The ice continues to form two wings on his back and a long tail. The ice continues down his left arm where an ice claw engulfs his hand. Hitsugaya's feet are also encased in this ice similar to the claw on his left hand. All of these frozen limbs are fully functional and can be used as an extension of himself during battle. Three purple flowers of ice also sometimes appear floating behind him. Each of them have four petals. These petals melt away as the battle progresses. I guess you could say these petals are a somewhat timer of how long Hitsugaya can remain in his Bankai form. 
Now, he's a guy who can freeze both objects and his surroundings just as his Shikai form. However, when his Bonkai is activated, this is much stronger and the range is greater. In terms of techniques, Hisugaya has Zanhyo Ningyo, Lingering Ice Puppet, where he can create a large amount of ice that is shaped to look exactly like him. These ice replicas are very lifelike, enough so that they even bleed. Hisugaya can also use his wings as a shield, where they will wrap around him like a sphere to protect him from attacks. He also has Bonkai Regeneration, where his Bonkai will regenerate as long as there is water in the air. Ryu Senka is an attack where he will stab his opponent and a burst of ice will appear, encasing his opponent. Hitsugaya will then shatter the ice with his target trapped within. He also has Senen Hyoyo, Thousand Years Ice Prison. Hitsugaya will create loads of ice pillars which circle around both himself and his opponent. When he commands it, these pillars will begin to move towards his enemy, crushing them. Guncho Sarara Ice Cool Flock is where Hisagaya will freeze water into ice, and by swinging his Zanpak toe in an arc like motion, daggers of ice will propel towards his target. Hyoryo Senbi Ice Dragon Swirling Tail is a swinging motion from Hisagaya's Zanpak toe that creates an ice blade that shoots towards his enemy. He also has Zeku or Void Sever, which allows Hisagaya to control this technique further, even sending the ice blade into the air. Hitsugaya's most powerful technique is called Hyoten Hyakasu Frozen Heaven 100 Flower Funeral. This is an ability that is an extension of his subjugation of the heavens power where he can manipulate the water in the atmosphere be it rain, snow and ice at will. With Hyoten Hyakasu a huge hole opens in the clouds and snow starts to fall. When the snowflakes make contact with his opponent, they create ice flowers that appear all over their body that will instantly trap them in a huge pillar of ice. After the battle with Aizen, Hisugaya strengthened his Bankai through 18 months of training into its completed form. He himself claimed that his body wasn't mature enough at the time to completely control his Bankai and use it to its fullest potential, but after reaching a more adult-like body, he has achieved this. Ishin Kurosaki was the former captain of the 10th division. Ishin is an absolute powerhouse, as you would expect from the head of the Kurosaki clan. One of the best ways of showcasing his strength, other than his many epic fights with Ichigo of course, is his Oni Dekopin technique, where Ishin can send an opponent flying with incredible force with just the simple flick of a finger. His Zanpakuto is called Engetsu, which means scathing moon when translated. In its sealed state, it looks like an ordinary Tachi. Ashin's Shikai release command is burn, and the appearance of his Zanpakuto does not change, however it is engulfed in a fire-like spirit energy. Ashin can use an energy attack when he is wounded, where he will use his own blood and spit it onto the sword, which will then release an insane amount of spirit energy that he will then use to pummel his opponent. Now, the epic ability Ashin can perform is his own Getsuga Tensho, which was incredibly powerful. He used this against Aizen in the fake Karakura town. Not only did it completely demolish the surrounding buildings, but it also left Aizen with a large gash in his head, earning a compliment from him. Aizen said that the attack was splendid, and it was an attack that Ishin fully understood. Now, Ishin does have Bonkai, but it has never been revealed to us. It was said that if Ishin tried to use it, the Bonkai would put a large amount of strain on his body. A strain so large that it would leave him heavily injured. Kenpachi Zaraki is the current captain of the infamous 11th division and is also the 11th Kenpachi to hold the position. And when it comes to powerhouses and choosing a guy you do not want to meet on the battlefield, it's Kenpachi Zaraki. He is incredibly tuned to combat. His swordsmanship is brutal, as is his expert battle senses. Words that are chosen to describe his power are words such as supernatural and immeasurable, which really gives us an understanding of just how much of a fearsome presence he really is. And his spirit energy is absolutely off the charts, so much so that he has to wear an eye patch over his right eye. Kenpachi admitted that he has poor control over his spirit power and he has to rely on said eye patch to keep it at a manageable level. Once that eye patch is removed, his spirit energy goes wild, completely destroying large areas that can span miles away. The energy is just so heavy and overwhelming that his opponent is almost always frozen to the spot when it is released. It is released in energy and shockwaves, but also serves as additional armor. 
Only those on the same level or higher than Kenpachi can cut through his spiritual pressure and land a cut on him. Now his Zanpakuto is called Nozorashi, which means weather beaten when translated. As a child without training, Kenpachi was able to imprint onto his Zanpakuto. In terms of its appearance, it is much longer than a regular Zanpakuto, its hilt is covered in bandages and it is extremely jagged on the blade. Those in the Soul Society believed that it was Kenpachi's insane spiritual pressure that was forcing his Zanpakuto into a released state due to this unique design. And interestingly, Kenpachi was the only captain in the history of the 13 Court Guard squads to achieve the rank of captain without both knowing the name of his Zanpakuto or being able to perform either of its release states. He of course gained the rank of captain through the exclusive and looked down upon trial by combat. It wasn't until he was beaten by Ichigo that he wanted to get stronger where he gained the name of his Zanpakuto and achieved its release states. Kenpachi's Shikai release command is Drink. His Zanpakuto's appearance changes to form a giant axe-like weapon with a long grip. Its special ability in its release form is an insane power-up in Nozorashi's strength and cutting power. Its power is enough to completely destroy a meteorite with just a single blow. Kenpachi can cut clean through his opponents with ease, even being able to cut through space itself. Now, the name of Kenpachi's Bankai is currently unknown, but we do know what it does. So, when activated, a huge level of energy is released. An energy so powerful that it will take out buildings in the surrounding area. Kenpachi himself changes. His skin turns red and gains black markings over his face, as well as gaining the addition of horns. His Zanpakuto also undergoes a change looking like an alternate version of its Shikai state. This is the only Bankai we know of that actually changes the wielder not only physically, but mentally too. In this form, Kenpachi is like that of a demon berserker who gains an incredible amount of strength and power. He acts in a pure fit of rage, where he is consumed, mindless, and acts without regarding his own life. Mayori Kuratsuchi is the captain of the 12th Division and is also the second president of the Shinigami Research Institute. He was formerly the third seat of the 12th Division under Kisuke Urahara. Mayori is, in my mind, a crazy, almost evil genius. He has the most intellect and scientific mind within the whole society. He has performed many an invention and researched body modification, but has also experimented on himself and upgraded his own body parts to use in combat and in conjunction with his Zanpakuto. In some cases, before a battle, he will thoroughly study his opponent and make modifications to his own body just to give himself the advantage. Looking into his body modifications, he has Flesh Splash, which is like an escape tool where he will stab himself with his sealed state Zanpak Toe, turning himself into a green liquid that can neither attack or be attacked. He can still move around and speak in this form and will return to his normal state in a few days. He also has Snake Belly Arm, where his left arm can extend to that of a grappling hook. If this arm were to be attacked, it will explode on impact, but this isn't a problem for Mayuri as he has a regeneration serum that will replace the lost limb. Mayuri is also able to pull out a part of his ear to form a scythe that is still attached to him like a flesh-like rope that he will use to cut down his opponent. He has a camouflage technique called false skin where his body can blend in with the colors and textures of his surroundings. Now, Mayuri's craziest modification has to be that he can replace any of his lost organs with fake ones that are just as functional as the originals but are a lot less vulnerable. Even crazier is that this operation will take less than an hour to perform. So, moving on to his Zanpak Toe, it's called Ashisogi Jizo, which is translated as the Leg Cutting Guardian. Its appearance in its sealed form is like a normal katana, with the guard covered in a cloth with spikes sticking out just below the blade. During the Quincy Blood War, Mayuri modded his Zanpak Toe by adding a sensor that blocked all sword attacks within two feet of his body, at an angle of 60 degrees or greater. His Shikai's release command is Rip. The form changes to that of a golden trident with curved blades. The guard of the Zanpak Toe is shaped like a baby's head with its hands in prayer. Mayuri Shikai's special ability is that of Venom. When his opponent is stabbed by Ashisogi Jizo, the signals from the brain that control movement are severed, leaving them paralyzed. The only thing not affected by the Venom is the nerve endings and pain receptors, meaning that his opponent will still be able to feel all the pain the paralyzed limb endures. 
He also has a Shikai ability called Leg Cutting Jizo, Terra Magnitude 4, where Mayuri sticks his finger in one eye of the baby's head on his Zambok toe, causing a dark fluid to come out of the baby's mouth. Anyone who does not share the same blood as Mayuri that hears this sound will be completely paralyzed for 4 seconds. Mayuri's Bankai is called Kanji Ashisogi Jizo, which is translated as Divine Leg Cutting Jizo. When his Bankai is activated, a giant monster looking creature appears that has the body of a caterpillar and a huge creepy baby head wearing a red cape with baby arms and a halo hovering above his head. This creature breathes a poison copy of Mayuri's blood that is deadly to anyone who breathes it in, aside from Mayuri himself or Nemu. This poison can spread through an area of around 200 meters and is almost impossible to evade. Now, there is an antidote to this poison, but it is obviously kept by both himself and Nemu. Now, just as Mayuri had modified his own body, he has also modified his Bankai too, making it one of the most versatile. He has rigged his Bankai to self-destruct and return to its sealed state if it were to attack him. His Bankai also has retractable blades that shoot out from its chest that will completely skewer his enemies. This can also be combined with its poison for an even more deadlier effect. Further modifications on his Bankai led to Konji Ashisogi Jizo Matai Fukien Shotai, which is translated to simply Demonic Recumbent Womb. This form is that of a giant purple-skinned baby wearing a golden loincloth. It has a giant gash on its stomach with the Kanji for Conceal written on it and is also resting on a large pile of umbilical cords. Now, this creature can create modified versions of Konjiki Ashisogi Jizo that have the information or data that Mayuri had sent to it that copies the abilities of the one that have attacked it. Kisuke Urahara was the former captain of the 12th Division and was also the founder and first president of the Shinigami Research and Development Institute. Kisuke is for me just a really hype character. He just has it all. Amazing strength, insane spiritual power, genius intellect, and big, big moments. Now his Zombokto is called Benihime, which is translated as Crimson Princess. This is actually one of the very few female Zombokto spirits known, and Urahara himself has described his blade as not nice. In its sealed state, it is a beige-colored Shiko Mizue, which is a blade hidden within a cane. When Urahara was still a captain, his Zompokto's sealed form was that of an average katana. Now, his Shikai's release command is Awaken, and the blade takes the form of a medium-sized sword that has a decorative hill and a crimson tassel hanging from it. His Shikai's special ability is a vary of techniques that manipulate a crimson energy, and through verbal commands from Kisuke, Benahime will execute said technique. The first is Sing Crimson Princess Scream, which are blasts of ferocious and destructive crimson energy that are fired in the shape of an arc. These blasts are strong enough to take on an Esparta class Arankar's Zero. Blood Mist Shield is where a hexagon shaped crimson barrier forms a defensive perimeter, blocking incoming attacks. Razor Crimson Princess is a technique very similar to Sing Crimson Princess Scream, where it again fires an arc of crimson energy straight towards his target, cutting them with ease. Spurning Crimson Princess is a technique that will cancel out an enemy's attack upon contact. All Kisuke has to do is analyze the opponent's technique, where we're talking spiritual energy composition and muscle movements. Once that is done, a circle of crimson energy is drawn that will cancel out said attack. Crimson Princess of Binding is a blood red net made of condensed energy being thrown over the target from the tip of Benihime's blade using a slashing motion. The final ability is called Fire Playing Crimson Princess Beaded Mesh, which is performed after using the previous Blood Red Net technique. Kisuke will stab the net with the tip of Benihime's blade that will create balls of fire all over the outside of the net that will explode like mines, devastating the one trapped within the net. Now, Kisuke's Bankai is called Kanon Biraki Benihime Aratame, which is translated to mean Open Red Princess Neo. When activated, Urahara's Bankai takes on the form of a giant woman with dark braided hair with mannequin-esque arms wearing a red robe that stands behind him. Urahara keeps this sealed sword for use in combat. His Bankai has the ability to completely restructure anything that it touches. Offensively, this can be used to split or dissect something, and for support, it can enhance things to bring them to their optimal working state and beyond. Urahara reconstructed his arm to have even greater strength against Askins completely overwhelm him. 
It can even stitch things back together that were once broken. We saw Urahara restore his own eyes using this power to restore his vision against again, Askin. This is just how insane the true power of his Bankai's reconstructing ability is. Ruki Akuchiki is the current captain of the 13th Division, where she was formerly served as a lieutenant under Jushiro Ukitake. Rukia's greatest strength is arguably her mastery and knowledge of Kido, where she can use it to attack, bind, and even heal. She stated that while she was at the Shinigami Academy, that she was the highest in her class when it came to the use of Kido. However, when she joined the 13th Division, her use and knowledge of Kido was average in comparison to the other squad members, so she trained extremely hard to develop her skills. Her Zanpakuto is called Soda no Shirayuki, which means sleeves of white snow when translated. In its sealed form, it looks just like that of a regular katana. Her Shikai release command is Dance, and Soda no Shirayuki is described as the most beautiful Zanpakuto in all of the Soul Society. When it is in its released form, the blade still looks like that of a katana, but a very elegant one. It also has a long white ribbon from the hilt that forms a perfect circle when Rukia holds the blade upside down. Now, Soda no Shirayuki is an ice-type Zanpakuto, and its Shikai form has multiple techniques that it can perform that are all labelled as dances. The Zanpakuto's standard Shikai ability is that it freezes. It can freeze targets from a distance or create paths of ice in mid-air. Interestingly, it's not her Shikai that freezes objects from the blade, but that it actually drops the temperature of what it touches to below freezing. Basically, anything that Rukia touches will be affected. Her Sanbokto only extends her reach. So, the abilities or dances available to her Shikai form are as follows. Somno Mai Tsukishiro or First Dance Moon White is a technique where Rukia holds the glowing blade upside down, making a slashing motion when the enemy is in position. At that moment, she draws a circle with the tip of her Sanbokto. Anything within that circle is frozen, not only the ground but the air too. Everything within that circle's perimeter is frozen into a pillar of light. The pillar will smash completely with the target trapped inside. Now, to note, if the target is not trapped within that pillar, said pillar will not shatter. Sugi no Mai Hakuren, or Next Dance White Ripple, is a circle of ice similar to the previous ability that will form where Rukia stabs the ground. She will stab the ground four times in a semicircle, and ice particles come up from those punctures. Rukia then takes up a stance and the particles flow to the tip of her Zanpok toe that she will then release in a very powerful cold blast of air, freezing everything that comes into contact with it. Sanomai Shirafune, or Third Dance White Sword, is the ability where Rukia gathers all of the moisture in the air to the tip of her Zanpok toe, forming a blade of complete ice. This not only increases the reach of her blade, but also freezes everything that makes contact with the blade. Juharju, or Tree White, is a direction of ice that forms a trail towards her target when she strikes the ground that will continue to freeze until the target is turned into ice. Now, Rukia also has something called Ice Rope Connection, where she can create an ice extension that will connect her hand to the hilt of her Zanpok toe, if she is out of its reach, allowing her to use her Shikai abilities at a distance. Her bunkai is called Haka no Tagame, which is translated to mean White Haze Punishment. When activated, her bunkai changes her look and attire completely. This could also arguably be the most beautiful bunkai in the Soul Society. Rukia is wearing a beautiful white kimono with lined patterns. It has an extended collar with wider sleeves as well as long flowing ribbons to finish off that really majestic look. Rukia herself has a small ice flower on the center of her chest and a half crown. Her hair also goes from a jet black color to a brilliant white and her Zanpak toe becomes transparent just as ice. Now, Rukia can turn the temperature within her area of influence to absolute zero. A pillar of absolute cold mist rises way up into the air and anything that is close to her becomes frozen to the very core. The target becomes frozen and begins to crumble away in seconds. Anyone who makes contact with Rukia while her Bonkai is activated begins to freeze instantly. Jushiro Ukitake is the former captain of the 13th Division and the final captain on our list. His Zanpakuto is called Sokyo no Kotawari, which is translated as Law of the Twin Fish. In its sealed state, his Zanpakuto looks like a regular katana. His Shikai release command is All Waves Rise and Become My Shield. Lightning Strike Now and Become My Blade. 
Once his Shikai is released, his single katana becomes two blades that he dual wields. As the two blades separate, a large red rope with five silver charms appear that attaches to the hilts of both swords. His Shikai's special ability is being able to absorb his opponent's energy through the left sword that will then travel through the red rope and its five silver charms that each increase its energy's attack, speed, and power reaching the right sword where Ukitake will fire it straight back at his opponent with much more devastating force. This process happens so fast that it is pretty much unable to dodge. Now, Ukitaki's Bankai has not been revealed to us, but being a captain, we know he definitely had this ability. And that is it, every captain's power and ability from Bleach Explained. This was certainly one of the longer videos on the channel, so if you've made it this far, then a huge thank you from us here at Anime Uproar. You truly are a legend that stands tall among the masses. Definitely make sure to let us know you made it to the end of the video by dropping a comment in the section below, letting us know who your favorite captain is. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more Bleach videos on the channel, make sure to let us know by smashing that like button, get Suga Tensho style. If you haven't already, make this the video you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications or you will miss future anime uproar videos. Remember, you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at anime uproar. Thanks again, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Till next time. Peace.